We're going to put our first finger at fret 5, and then we're going to put our second finger down like that. Now this is where our thumb comes into play, and our thumb ideally goes behind the second finger thereabouts. If you look closely there, this part of the thumb is what's touching the fingerboard. It's not like some people end up doing something like that, it's that. Okay, so we have that. And then ideally the fingers then just spread out like so. And so we want to end up with one, two, three, four. The most crucial part of all of this is, the most important part of the hand is actually this joint here. And what it does is it allows us to create a claw effect. Imagine that you're grabbing hold of something like that. It's actually these muscles which give us the dexterity to play the bass. With guitar, they're even more critical because they allow open strings to ring and that kind of thing, but they're just as important on the bass. So when we're doing like this, we want to have our fingers nice and upright like that. 